Hi, my name is Caitlin Maxwell. I'm a digital and electronic collections librarian at Shoreline Community College Library. And this is a quick video on how to adapt a book from the Pressbooks directory uh, so that you can edit it, tweak it later, uh, or even just use it as is. So to get started, we're gonna start with the Open Washington Pressbooks page, and you can navigate there by going to the URL or typing in the URL openwashington or openwa.pressbooks.pub. So openwa.pressbooks.pub. And then from here, you can sign in with your shoreline.edu email. And if you have any questions about how to set up an account, I have another video on that that you can review. For today, we're gonna to go ahead and use the Shoreline's administrative account. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And then from here, you'll see that there's two options. You can create a book. So this is just from scratch, or maybe you wanna copy in content from other openly licensed material, or you can click on adapt a book, which will uh, give you the option to adapt a book directly from the Pressbooks directory. So that's what we're gonna do for this video. So I'm going to click on adapt a book. And then you should see a screen like this. So the first thing you'll see is it says source book URL or and, and new book URL. So if you don't know, you know, if you haven't searched yet, you don't know, you don't quite know which book you want to use, the easiest thing to do is to scroll down to the search the press books directory and try a search there. So for example, I might try Spanish. Maybe I wanna see, or actually for today, let's go ahead and see what they have on open educational resources. Okay, so I'm gonna do a search on that. And then you'll see that there are some results that come up immediately below. So for example, there's something called creating and editing open educational resources. So this is something that I might wanna use for training for Shoreline faculty and staff. So I'm gonna say, select this book. And then what it does is it adds the source book URL, and then you can actually edit the new book URL. So for example, if I want to have it be more specific to Shoreline, I might say Shoreline CC OER edit, something like that, and then clone book. And then what it does is it just takes a couple of minutes to look up the source book and to clone it into your Pressbooks account. And while that's waiting, um, I just kind of chose a book based on the title, but you should be able to also, once you search in the Pressbooks directory, you should be able to click on the title and search through the content to make sure that it's something that you actually want. So while that's cloning, I'm gonna go ahead and search for open educational resources again. Uh, maybe it has to finish loading first. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for open educational resources again. So the same search. And now I actually wanna look through this book. So I've already cloned it. I already have it in my library, but I wanna see what this book has. So I'm gonna click on the title. And now you can actually see the content of the book. So I noticed that it has a non-commercial license. So that's something to take note of is to check the license for the book uh, because that may influence the license that you can choose for that particular book. So for example, it says Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial. So I could absolutely not use this for commercial purposes, okay? Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind is the license. And then if I scroll down, I can see all the contents, including chapters like getting started with OER. Maybe I wanna check, maybe I wanna check on the chapters. I wanna see what the content is. There's a few videos in here that are adapted from other, uh, other sites. And then it also has the copyright, 2023. So that's another thing to keep in mind is the copyright date. Some of these might be a little older, so it just depends on what you're looking for. But I think, yeah, two things to keep in mind um, when you're kind of reviewing the book before you clone it is uh, the, the license on the material as well as the publication date and also the content, of course. So let's just say I want to look at, I wanna see the licensing information. So I'm gonna click on that chapter in particular 
And then I see here that we've got licensing information. And this is something that I might want to use for training. So this is great. Um, I might actually use this for real. Uh, and just to show you what this looks like in my directory, now that I've cloned the book already, I'm going to go back to my portal. And I'm going to go to my dashboard. And then I'm going to click on my catalog so I can actually see this cloned book that I just cloned in my catalog because I want to see if I can edit it uh, just in the catalog here. So I think this is it here. Let me just double check. Yes. So it says here, creating and editing open educational resources by Beth South. And I'm going to say visit admin. And it's just taking a second to load here. And now I can get into the book info. So for example, if I want to write a new chapter, um, if I want to organize the chapters in a different way, um, let me go into book info. I'm going to edit the book info. So for example, I might want to say creating and editing open educational resources at Shoreline CC or something like that. You may want to change the title. Uh, if there's any subtitle, I may want to add my name as an author. In this case, I'll just add Shoreline CC as an author. Um, maybe I want to add my colleague. Let's see, I don't know if I can add Justin in here. It might have to be by username. So I think you have to look up people by username. I can also add reviewers. So here are all the contributors. So I might add my the Shoreline account as a contributor. I might want to add Shoreline as the publisher city, publication date. I don't think I need an ISBN for this, so I'm not going to worry about that. I want to make sure I have English. You can change the cover image from here. Maybe you want to browse, you know, maybe you create something different and you can attach that as the cover image. You can change the subject, the primary subject of the book. You can change the institution. So I'm going to get rid of Indiana and I'm going to type in Shoreline Community College as the institution. You can change the copyright, the copyright year. In this case, this is all of the open licenses that you can select from. So since this title was already licensed as non-commercial, it doesn't say that I have to share alike. So share alike is when you have to use the same exact license that uh, the original creator used. In this case, it doesn't say that. So I could technically change my license to just the basic open license, which is CCBY which allows people to remix, to edit, as long as they give me credit. And that's it. I don't, it, they can use it for commercial purposes. They can do whatever they want with it. So I tend to go with the most open license, but it's up to you on whatever you're comfortable with. And you can also edit the licensing information. You can edit about the book. You can add a tagline. You can add a short description, any additional catalog information and then you can click on save. So that's just an example of how you can edit the kind of top level uh, OER book information once you've adapted the book. And if you go back to organize, here is where you can actually see all the different chapters and sections. And from here, you can select a lot of different uh, categories. You can say show in web, you can say show and exports or not. You can toggle those on and off. You can also add a chapter or add a part if you want to uh, divvy this up by part. And if you go to each chapter, you can actually go under the chapter title and you can click on edit. 
And this allows you to actually edit the content of that chapter. So if you wanted to tweak specific chapters, you can go to the chapter and you can click on edit. And now you can actually get into the nitty gritty of the content and edit it however you want. So this is just a basic introduction on how to clone a book and how to kind of quickly edit the book info, chapter info, things like that. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with me uh, to get in touch with your librarian uh, or with e-learning and we can assist you in working in Pressbooks and adapting a book very quickly from, from Pressbooks. And this is kind of as time allows for you. So if you wanna clone a book just to start with, maybe you don't wanna use all of it. Uh, you can delete chapters, you can hide chapters from the public version. Uh, when we saw that earlier screen with the toggle on and off options, you can hide certain sections and you can also edit the specific chapter content. So those are a couple of things that you can do very quickly uh, just using the Pressbooks directory. So you don't even have to start from scratch, which is a wonderful thing about the Pressbooks subscription is that there's a huge directory you can choose from. And hopefully you'll be able to find some kind of template that you can easily adapt and use and add your own content to, your own flavor to. Um, and then uh, I'll have another video on how you can actually create a book completely from scratch. So that's another video that I'll have. Okay, thanks for watching.